Previously on Beckenfield. Welcome, my dear Beckenfield. I wanted to update you on the legends of Beckenfield. There wasn't a single night that disappointed. I mean, every time I felt absolutely transported. I think it's one of the best plays I have seen. And everybody's performance was spectacular, so bravo. He does it too much to ask for a round of applause. It was amazing. You know, the only thing that kind of dampened my spirits about the play was Reginald Alvis's announcement. He arrived by stretch limo, who strode up on the stage and announced that the Legends of Beckenfield will run indefinitely. Why try and push it? I mean, I really feel like he's trying to turn it into some kind of money-making venture, and as soon as he does that, the magic will be gone. Whoa, whoa, who, who is this crew? Who are the guys in the black coats? That's the Dr. Cupid and our whole little men in black crew that she showed up with last night at the Legends of Beckenfield, acting like she owned the freaking place. About a week ago, she told everybody, you don't know what I could have protected you from. Black what? Aliens. Rumors of sightings of Becca Bacon are continuing to spread throughout Beckenfield. I thought I saw Becca up in the second story library window. Really? Whatever is going down, is going down at the theater. Kipper's here with even more of a black suited buddy than last time. Yeah, I don't trust her. I got a bad feeling about this. Something happened on stage. Personally, I don't even know if I believe what I actually saw. We was all doing a closing monologues. The alarm started going off during the performance. And then the lights started flashing. The doors flung open, and Dr. Kipper came in. Mr. Director Marks accused her of setting off the alarms, and then they all told us to leave. We all start exiting, and then the lights go out. And we all got out of the theater very calmly, but then we all looked up, and, and there were those lights. Oh my god, what's that? I don't know what I saw. I saw a bunch of lights floating in the sky. My phone wouldn't work. Our cell phones weren't working. This same thing happened on April 1st last year. These lights were seen at the high school stadium. So what? out there knows something. They look like a ship, yeah, yeah. There was a spin around or something and then like a bolt of lightning and then like... A lightning bolt strikes. Oh my goodness, the theater's on fire. And the whole place catches it on fire. It ain't no more, it's all like rubble bits and pieces. Such a shame, you know. And on top of that, the director, Dylan Marks, he's not been seen since the incident. I hear, I hear chanting. It sounds like Indian chants. I gotta go, somebody's coming! Wednesday is Catch-Up Day on Beckonfield. Join us every Wednesday for Previously on Beckonfield, a quick way to catch up on the story to date.